Hi, this video is about vitrectomy for diabetic vitreous hemorrhage. The best analogy for these cases is like a closed gift box. Until you're really into the eye, you don't know what you're going to face because of you're not seeing behind the vitreous hemorrhage and you may not pick up with B-scan and also the attachment of the vitreous to the retina in diabetic patients. Here, my senior resident starting the case and what we're trying to do is to cut the attachment between the vitreous and the retina before we proceed with posterior hyaloid separation. And the way to do this is to go down at the level of the retina of the vitreous cutter and cut very close to the retina trying to uh, separate these adhesions. Uh, in many cases this is really difficult to achieve uh, without inducing some separation of the hyaloid. Here we thought we managed to cut some of the supratemporal adhesions. Now doing the same thing, cutting the, um, or trying to cut the adhesions between the vitreous and the retina nasally. Now my resident moved on uh, inferiorly, again trying to achieve some separation between the vitreous and the retina. Canalog is placed in the eye to try to delineate the vitreous further. At this point, the resident is trying to separate the hyaloid over the optic nerve, and again, very carefully uh, dissecting over. We stopped at the point of adhesions, and uh, instead of pulling, we cut deep down at the level of the retina to cut the epicenter. And as you can see here, while the resident is really cutting very close to the retina, uh, it's uncertain that we got the hyaloid off and we're just cutting into the vitreous gel, but the hyaloid is still attached. Uh, at this point, I was trying to take off these membranes from the retina. And approaching the membranes, I could now feel that the hyaloid is not separated and that's why I cannot access these membranes. So at this point, I'm trying to separate the hyaloid with active suction. You need to be very wary in diabetic patients because of the strong adhesions between the vitreous and the retina. The retina is also very thin and um, the epicenters could be vascular. But I've managed to get the hyaloid partially up and now the hyaloid is separating more towards these membranes. And again, just further uh, careful dissection just to lift off the edge of the membrane and then after that it becomes easy once the membrane becomes uh, partially mobile and you can remove the rest with a cutter as I'm doing here and now the hyaloid is further detaching peripherally the main points to take from this video is first that the vitreous is very adherent to the retina in diabetic patients. Second, in diabetic patients the membranes are always connected with the posterior hyaloid and the membranes are actually part of the hyaloid where vitreous chysis happened. Thank you so much for watching.